an LED candle. Nothing particularly unusual about that. It's not even the type with the flame that moves. It just has a slight undulation, but it is different from the normal LED candles. And it was touted in the packaging as the latest candle, your realistic, most amazing flame effect. And uh, from a distance, it's not bad. But the idea here is that it's a very, very subtle. It's not like the yellow candle uh, LEDs that just strobe and flicker. The ones that used to have a music chip in series with them, like the happy birthday chips that used to just basically pulse and flicker. This one is very subtle. Let me show you. That's the best bet. One moment, please. It is very subtle. It's a golden white, fairly realistic for a candle flame. And as you can see, it just gently undulates up and down. The no strobing or flickering. And because the LED is mounted down into this uh, plastic flame shape, as it gets brighter, it does have a slight illusion of going up. I don't think there's more than one LED in there. I think it's just a single LED. Okay, watch your eyes. The light is coming back. Okay, it's time to grab some tools and disassemble this. Now, before I do so, the construction of this is a plastic flame shape, the black wick, presumably just sleeving. The plastic body has been dipped in wax, so it has that waxy candle feel. And then it's a very simple base here. You've got the screw-on base, complete with bits of wax, and just a couple of AAA cells. That is all. Um, nothing really obvious looking up the end of it. So... I'm just going to grab some tools. One moment, please. Right. Things worthy of note. Uh, I don't really recommend disassembling these. They are solidly glued together. The wax doesn't help at all. The only way to get this out was to basically crush the base of the candle. And likewise, when I got the LED out then, because well, there's nothing in here, it's just basically a hollow tube, not even a resistor. But when I got the... To get the LED out the end of the flame, I physically had to cut the flame open at the end. I couldn't dissolve the glue. And it turns out it is just a three millimetre LED just stuffed into here. And it's got a chip on board and it does everything. There's not even a resistor. So at three volts, it draws just six milliamps. This is good because it should last a very long time. I tried to turn the voltage up to four volts to see if this had any voltage regulation in it, but it doesn't. Uh, it went up to 22 milliamps at four volts, uh, and to go to the full three cells, 4.5 volts, would have been quite dramatic. It would potentially work with three AAA nickel metal hydride cells if you wanted to boost the brightness. Let me just uh, power this up. So there's two wires, a sort of very lightly yellow tinted one and a white one. The white one is the positive. This is where the wires are so excruciatingly thin that they won't even go into the clips here. I also noticed that you can crash the LED. The, it sometimes just jams on at full. But in this case, it has reset after being powered down for a moment. Quirky. Uh, but that's it. An undulating, flickering LED and a battery pack. That's all you've got in here. The, the secret sauce is ultimately going to be the use of that bit of black sleeving to emulate a wick, uh, a burnt wick, and then this little housing for the LED to spread the light around a bit and, and diffuse it and make it look as though it's undulating up and down a little bit. But it is fundamentally just a flickering LED, but quite a good one. It's very subtle um, as compared to the traditional yellow LEDs that just strobed and pulsed. This is much more subtle. But that is it. Almost a bit of an anticlimax. I was hoping for a little circuit board. Nothing. It is literally just a new era flickering LED.